Hello, I'm Sophronia Scott, director of the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing for the 21st Century, and welcome to Faculty Friday. This is your opportunity to have a brief experience of the amazing teachers that we have available to you in our MFA program to help you be the best writer that you can be. And today I am joined by Karen E. Bender. Now, Karen is the author of two story collections, Refund, which was a finalist for the National Book Award in Fiction, and shortlisted for the Frank O'Connor International Story Prize, and longlisted for the Story Prize. Her collection, The New Order, was longlisted for the Story Prize. She's written two novels, A Town of Empty Rooms, and Like Normal People, which was a Washington Post Book of the Year and a Los Angeles Times bestseller. You can read more about Karen on our website, alma.edu slash MFA. Thank you for being here with us today, Karen. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited. <laughs> so the question I have for you today is, what is your best tip for encouraging writers on this MFA journey? Mm, it's a great question. And I have many tips. Um, but one that I start my classes with always is that there are three uh, pillars to becoming a writer, um, honesty, craft, and patience. And honesty is the first one. Um, you know, the best writing to me is honest writing. It taps into something deep, you know, that you want to say that you feel hasn't been said. Um, that you want to see said. And um, it doesn't have to be literally true. It can just be emotionally true. But the reader has to feel that it's coming from an honest place and will really um, respond to it and also feel understood, perhaps, you know. And then you funnel the honesty through craft. <laughs> uh, you do the, you know, with fiction, it's the craft um, uh, elements of sensory detail, dialogue, scene, plot. You know, so you figure out how to put um, your honest feelings into a narrative. And then the last thing is patience, which is um, how uh, you stay with the piece over and over, you revise it, and then you know finally you send it out, but you really take your time with it and make it as good as it, as it can get. And then um, it, it can take students places that they, they never thought they would go, I found, yeah. Kieran, I, I like all three of those pillars because I feel that they, they do represent the experience of the MFA journey. Uh, yeah. Honesty is, is what you're constantly exploring um, during workshop while you're mm -hmm. in the residencies, the two residencies that happen each year. Mm -hmm. and, and also one-on-one -on -one with your mentor, you know, really getting deep into the, you know, what is it that I want to say and, and how do I yeah. say it so that, yeah. that I'm communicating what I want to say to the world. Yeah. Um, and then you have the, the craft piece, which is, of course, what the whole... <laughs> business is about what we're doing, you know, to, to how do we really understand what we're doing so that we can become better writers. Um, and actually, I will even say, Karen, that was one of the, the pieces of my own personal MFA journey, because I felt, I knew I was a good writer, but I didn't understand craft. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so, same. Yeah. So for me, yeah, that, that took my work to another level. Mm -hmm. um, and, and revision is hugely important, because we have to, um, you know, do something about that myth that is still out there. I think that we, that people think that writers just sit down and write and the first draft is perfect and, and right. it just goes out that way. And, and I think uh, too many writers are trying to do that when really the magic happens during revision. Yes, absolutely. The magic does happen in revision. And that's where you also have, you know, like the most control. You know, you can decide when to send something out. And if you stay with it and really think, I'm going to get this beginning right, or, you know, I'm going to make this character, you know, more later, then you really can make it better. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and that's hopeful to me that, yeah. you, that, that, that the work can get better and you just have to be yeah. patient with it. Totally. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining us today, Karen. Oh, well, thank you for having me. This is great. And thank, thanks to you, the listener, for being here with us. I'm Sophronia Scott. She's Karen E. Bender, and we're with the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing for the 21st Century. If you want to learn more about the program, just go to the website, alma.edu slash MFA. And always remember, your voice matters. Thank you. <laughs> Yay!